Welcome to Chanel in Los Angeles, the city that I am mayor of. <laughs> Hollywood, today we go to Chanel. Who doesn't love a Chanel show? It's young, it's hot. Yes. Oh, la, 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 la. La classe, quoi. Oh, I love it. Welcome to Chanel. It's the cruise collection. A Chanel pink surfboard is de rigueur. We are backstage. Hey guys, welcome to and front of house, celebrities by the dozen. It's very the smell of LA, movie set magic. We have the fittings with the top models, and we are prepping with the VICs, the Chanel obsessed, very important clients. Oh my god. <laughs> the pop labyrinths of inspirations, hybrids, disco aces, cinder roller, the Cambon Fornia, Aerobic Coco, Gabriel Newton John. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. 5000. And the Coco goes to... Chanel. Chanel. We talk with Paris Hilton, Sofia Coppola, Angèle, Yibo Wang. Coucou à Doutakesh. Coucou Marion Cotillard. Hello, I'm Luc Prigent. And yes, I compensated for my carbon footprint. Subscribe to my channel to see everything about fashion, the Chanel blockbuster shows, and the upcoming designers. Share this video with your families. Leave a comment and a thumbs up. Mood board! Bienvenue à Beverly Hills. For the first time on the Chanel fitting floor, this is top model Amelia Gray. She's pinching herself. So excited. <laughs> what the heck? Look at my look. What? What? A Chanel fashion show on your CV catapults you in the supermodel category. It feels really special. My first Chanel show is in my hometown at the Beverly Hills Hotel, which is like, I grew up here and it's really just insane. And I'm so grateful and what? This is crazy. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> first time for her in front of the Chanel bags table. Wow. This is a work of art. This is, oh. this is insane. And look at this. <laughs> you guys, it's too much. It's all too much. I can't. This is a dream. I want that. I want that. I want that. That. Someone take me away. <laughs> take me away. <gasps> Virginie Vier's inspiration is always more pop than you'd expect. A vision of Los Angeles is no dull red carpet on Hollywood Boulevard, but the sunset always, the sunset, the golden hour. The name tags of waitresses in the diners inspire the jewelry. The roller skate in Venice is a major inspiration of the show. Actually, Chanel is producing those roller skates with detachable skates. And boom, you have your Chanel sneakers ready. The tweeds are the lightest in Chanel memory. They are terry cloth, éponge, slashed with sequins and glitter. Lurex, traces of fame, but not the heavy John Crawford fame, more a lighter starlet fame. The disco vibe is strong, facets, mirror balls spinning on rings. Shoes are derbies with splashes of metallic or crystal surfaces, or even better, illuminated heels with seven different modes of colors flashing or blinking. Bags are stars, the particular shade of pink of the stars on the Hollywood Boulevard pavement. The stars of the 1932 Gabrielle Chanel High Jewelry Collection are dripping on swimsuits, the place you'd least expect them to appear. There's this surfing van as minaudière in black and white or full of glitter. Wheels are fully functioning. You open it like this, with a traditional chain and leather strap. Collector item. What's up? When did you guys get here? I just arrived. Like 10 minutes ago. That's how we do it. That's fashion. <laughs> but a Chanel ice coffee and bye bye jet lag. Fatigue, Julien doesn't know her. J'ai un, un, un... Ah, t'as le head freeze C'est un fait. Ah, J'arrive même plus à parler. <rire> Mais t'as tout bu Ah ouais, oui j'ai tout bu. Mais ouais. as fait un, tu vas faire la un... séquence. Oh, tu vas faire tout pour le show. On est à Los Angeles. Supermodel Adou Takesh didn't need to travel a lot to come to the fittings. I live here, so this is exciting. I didn't for... know you lived here. Yeah, I've been living here for two years now. Oh. And so like anytime something happens in LA, I get so excited because I'm like, oh. Something is happening in my home, I guess. <laughs> I was like, I will never live in LA. I will never live in LA. I don't, I wouldn't fit in. But then I moved here and I was like, oh, I 
actually I can. Nice weather, driving. I drove to the hotel. My car is at the hotel, so I can drive anytime I want. Leave. I'm so happy. You have to drive in LA. Do you honk? I do. Every day, because people in LA don't know how to drive. And what kind of honker are you? Oh, like, I'm aggressive. Uh, you like move, move. Yeah. Because <laughs> then someone will do something stupid on the road and then blame you for it and like come and drive next to you and put down their window and you're just like, uh uh, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Mm -mm. <laughs> Right before the show, we head to the Five Stars Hotel, where the Chanel addicted Snehal and Yoti Babani are getting ready. How are you? Good! The sisters brought with them a Chanel wardrobe. This is our little Chanel world that we create before every show, so please welcome. We're never leaving home without Chanel. Yeah. And then this was really nice, because this was our Christmas present from, from Chanel. Chanel. This year they gave us um, like travel, travel blankets, blankets as our Christmas presents, so it was so like it's perfect. perfect. It keeps us comfy. So now this is like a set for yeah. us. We travel with this. <laughs> yeah. Could you introduce yourself? I'm ah. Snehal. Ah. I'm Josie. Ah. It's for me. Oh, it's for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Dark like life. <laughs> yes, I got my own Thank coffee. You. This is becoming a fashion coffee channel. Can you show us the two invites? Yes, of course. This, we are going to frame this yeah, in our Yeah, this rooms. is going to be framed and like put on the wall for sure. <laughs> so now we have a wall of really pretty invites and this is the perfect addition to that. that. I love when you speak together. <laughs> Every piece comes in pair. So for this show, we for the evening, we're going to be wearing like our baskets. Yeah. So this is from 2013. And, and also the, the, I think we carried these specifically for LA because it reminds us of like old Beverly Hills vibe, like rollerblades and like headphones so, and so. like... So we wanted to create a full vibe using all our older Chanel pieces and new pieces and mixing it up. So that Snehal's look complete Jyoti's outfit. Yes, this yeah. is for... This tonight. is actually for tonight. So it's perfect for LA, it's pink. It's Our, our theme is like Beverly, Beverly Barbie. Barbie. So we both want to be dressed like Beverly Barbie dolls tonight. <laughs> Pink and purple heart. To like match it, we're going to put those in our basket. Yeah, we'll, we'll have them in the basket. And for the after party, maybe we'll just have the hearts on us. So this is the lock that I'll be wearing. Again, it's from the supermarket collection. And this is the lock I'll be wearing. It's also from the supermarket collection. You. Like the headphones, the basket, the, the locks, locks, also the, the candy, candy necklace. necklace. This is so special. And it's. For me, this is one of the most special necklaces we own. It's the candy necklace. She has a very sweet tooth. Yeah, so, and, I, and, I, and I love this. Also, we have a lot of pearl. This one is particularly special mm -hmm. because it's from mm -hmm. Paris, Paris Bombay. Bombay. Mm -hmm. We live in Bombay. Yeah. So I think the show is outside Paris and to bring a little bit of home felt good. So, so for us, it's like everything has a story and everything has a meaning to it. Black velvet bows because we're wearing black velvet, velvet skirts. skirts. Mm -hmm. Like micro bags to complete the look. This is super micro. And Elsie, at the show, what do you do with the hair? We're trying to do something crazy. I'll show you. I'll just. But grab we're it. not sure it's going to work out. Like, till the last moment, we never know our hair is actually going to turn out the way we want. We have got these stencils made. Back home. Uh, back home, and we have like pink glitter and, and we have pink, pink hairspray. Hair so maybe we will manage doing pink CCs it's all our... over our hair. But this is just an idea. Yeah. We don't know if it's going to work out until the last moment. Yes, yeah, so we're going to try to execute it. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. This it works out. Genius. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We we'll see you at the show. When you see someone with big Barbie hair, you know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. Walk with me. Here we go. Let's do it. The show takes place on the Paramount Studios lot. Usually this is a blue sky tank. It has been transformed into a Hollywoodian Chanel runway. Margot Robbie in the perfect pair of jeans and a metallic top. Sneal and Jyoti Babani just arrived and they're wearing Chanel. Even the hair is customized. Cruise is one of the most special uh, collections each year, so we are very excited. As Angel is in the North American part of a non on 5 tour, she made a detour.
Paris Hilton in Pink Chanel Knit. I am so excited to be here today at the Chanel show, their first show in Los Angeles. Chanel is my favorite brand, so iconic. So I can't wait to see all of the looks on the runway. What was your first Chanel mm -hmm. ever? My first Chanel was when I was five years old. I got a Chanel bag for Christmas. And then I got my first Chanel suit, baby pink. It actually looked like this when I was 13. <laughs> so I'm wearing Chanel my whole life. Coucou Marion Cotillard. Coucou Chloé Sévigny. Coucou Sofia Coppola. Oh, coucou Kim Petras. I'm so excited for tonight. It's my first Chanel show. Actress Lisa Rina is here. With her, you get soaps like Days of Our Lives, TV shows like Melrose Place, and of course, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But tonight, she's Amelia Gray's mother. She's walking! I know, isn't that so exciting? It's so exciting. It's her first show, her first Chanel show. It's a dream come true, and it's such an honor, and I'm so excited that I get to see her. I get to watch! In LA, in your town. In, a, in our town, yes. I can't wait right now. I want to watch this show. Stars are waving to the cameras for the big screen, cheering the crowd up. Gabriel Chanel famously came to Los Angeles in 1931 to design the costumes of three films produced by United Artists. Anna Ewers opens a swimsuit with bold embroideries, but you can still swim with it. The elements are all waterproof. Victoria Cheretti is the Chanel Aerobicoco goddess. V i t t o r i a g o d d e s s. Angelina Kendall with a gym and dance wool gaiters, perfect for a flash dance casting moment. Big hair, big hair with Nora Atal. Jim Pesis did the hair tonight. What inspired Virginie in LA? I think it's the uh, originally definitely the workout culture and aerobics and healthy attitude, and all that. The sun, the heat, the roller skates, the skateboards, the life of endless sun and beach. It's kind of like back to the supermodel era of Cindy Crawford and all those girls like that were just you know working out but looked like they were going to a party. This room muslin for Aduta Kesh above a golden swimsuit. Luna Bilge with hidden CCs made with iridescent sequins in a sea of silver sequins. Christine Linthes got the first jacket of the collection but surtout the Surf Van Minodier collectible. The Le Sage Atelier embroidered this tunic with fireworks of crystals. The gold cotton of the dress is lacquered with white gold. Rebecca Lee in a long-sleeved crop top, a two-tiered skirt in cotton poplin with pink and white stripes. Mariam de Vinzel in a striped bustier made with dozens of traditional Chanel braids with sequins, des galons pailletés qui forment des rayures sur son bustier. The Danish Mathilde Henning in an orange lace. Valley of the doll style hostess gown with pink and yellow reflection. Sarah Grace Wallerstedt in a sunset floral lace number. Her bag is a big format foldable envelope. Sarah Halliwell got the belt, bracelets and earrings in pink for fur. Barbie is not far away. She's a lady and she knows what a lady likes. Yeah, honestly. It's so feminine yet flirtatious, rebellious. It's just, it's for every woman. Claire Delosier in a bathrobe slash coat with Le Sage embroidery slash jewelry on the pockets. Mm. I love it. I feel like Barbie. Fun, it's iconic, it's young, it's hot, and I'm upset. As you can see, loves it. Chinese top model Yu Jia Chen in a roller skating dress, une robe de patineuse. The t-shirt is neoprene for a surfer vibe. This is very clueless the movie, no? 
Lisa Coral wears a dress coat made with a tweed by Le Sage. The colors of the tweed are inspired by the hazy and vivid colors in Mood Board, this painting by the Japanese artist Mayumi Suzuki. It's decorated with neon flowers made by Le Marier. This could be a nod to the flowers hidden by Gabrielle Chanel in the giant color she designed for Gloria Swanson in Tonight or Never one of the three Hollywoodian movies in 1931. And the same idea on look 42 with a collerette de fleur, a flower color, on Lindsay Leonard. Ola Rudnika, a Virginie Vier muse in a quiet tweed with stars on the wrists and as earrings. Another fierce Chanel muse, Ajok Deng, in a pink tweed ensemble that is actually very close, with bits of lyrics to give it some shine. C'est un tweed éponge. She holds the tiniest bag of the collection in pink for fur. And voilà. Malika El Masloui, an XXL cashmere sweater, and you're good. Et Lara Tigan in the pink and green combination you see in the Beverly Hills Hotel. Even the shorts in denim are shaded, like faded in the sun, délavé au soleil. Here again, on Tiana Saint-Louis. Hollywood glamour that is Chanel. You just need a couple little things here and there and you can like automatically be the most stylish woman in the room. <laughs> Annie Francois with a bra of sequin slash scales. She and He Kong got the most vibrant muslin print. Gabrielle Chanel herself designs a similar printed jumpsuit for Gloria Swenson in Tonight or Never. Chanel is all about all of her prints. I think Chanel is always considered this like very traditional, elegant brand, but it's really radical and cool. And it was invented by a proto-feminist, so hello, California. Peace and love, baby. Anokiai kills it. She steals the show with a walk to gag them all. This is how you do it. Rewind. The metallic fuchsia swimsuit very couture in the sand. The first row is gagging. Anokiai kills it. Chill court levé with the cambon sunglasses. Camellias and stars are embroidered by Le Sage on the back of her jacket. C'est pas tous les jours que que je suis invitée à Los Angeles pour un événement Chanel. J'aime bien aussi l'idée de, de suivre la maison Chanel ailleurs, quoi. Model Topsy wears the traditional pink Chanel suit, the one Jackie Kennedy loved so much. But this one got the lights in a disco ball treatment. Giselle Norman, the lights of the cars on the LA highways at night. Aiken Shanku with the palm trees caught in the sunset. Which bag could she wear for this look? Time for a fitting flashback. Hello. Hi. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Bag or no bag? Bag. bag. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Disappointing if we don't get one, you know. On way to you. This for you or that's for my bag. Yeah. Found it again. That looks good. What do you um, guys reckon? Yeah. They're, they're torturing you. No leash. <laughs> No, but in a good way. I'm shopping right now. This is one for me. Guess what happened? <laughs> the outfit. An outfit. See, that's all you need. No bag. <laughs> no bag. <laughs> Alice Charvet, a Chanel favorite in a sequin delirium embroidered in the Parisian ateliers of Montex. Daphne Grunewald got the total look of intarsia knit with brushable mohair palm trees. The Chanel comeback for Adwa Abwa with a hypnotizing sequin jersey number. America Gonzalez in a tweed specially made for tonight by Le Sage with black silk and lurex ribbons enhanced with pink, purple and silver threads. Amelia Gray Amlin in a Chanel runway debut. It's everything and more. It's punk, it's major, it's the two best colors in the rainbow, black and pink. Look at the socks too. They're perfect. I'm gonna fall. 
I love the shoes. I was going to say, the shoes my daughter was wearing were fantastic. And to see her with such confidence walk that runway, walk that basketball court, I mean, proud is not the right word. I don't even know how to describe it. Mind blowing. So cool. San Mizrahi Hamo with mirror faceted shoes that could be worn by Diana Ross, whose daughter is first row. The golden sequins on her jacket are inspired by old vinyl records. The miniskirt is very 1995 Chanel, very Angel. A beat champion. Super intriguing technique, squares of gold sequins, giving a 3D effect for this jacket. The shirt color is an illusion, there's no shirt here. Mahani Perry in terry close tweed, super light. Gabrielle Chanel gives similar flowing lavalier color to her heroine in the 1931 musical Palmy Days. Ilan Hua is a silver screen dream incarnate. Cunye in a pajama with deconstructed CC logos applied in golden squares. While Amar Akwe got the golden bra and we can see an inspiration, the famous golden bra designed by Gabrielle Chanel for Gloria Swanson in Tonight or Never. Yu Jichin with a body jewelry of crystals in gradient colors with matching gradient bag. Mexican model Tindy Neina with pale gold trousers. Jenai Noah is magnetic. Virginie Viard loves a black see-through dress of a swimsuit. This speeding roller embroidery by Le Sage also exists on bags. This is a second Chanel show for Arnel Slot. She got the Lucky Charm clothes on a crepe bathrobe dress and the monokini version of the Anokiai swimsuit in the very least tailor move. Carolina Spakovsky with stars on a tank top, very Christian Stewart. Her dress in silk tulle, embroidered by Le Marier with ribbons in the shape of ears of wet and feathers. Wet and feathers, two symbols of Chanel. The Combon Ateliers had a lot of work on this one. Adita Jogdeng with an elevated tank top for a renewed, fresher red carpetism. Combon Balassas! Dana Smith wears a pleated muslin dress that took two weeks for several seamstresses in the flu ready-to-wear ateliers. Rachel Marks in a tweed blazer inspired by the jackets worn by film producers. Samuel Goldwyn is now the Chanel Muse, haha. Tina has a John Lautner house on the hills, Kwana chasing horse with square sequence details and micro strass of stars and CCs. French supermodel of the world, Loli Baya in the typical nightgown cinema stars love to be photographed in. Ça va, Loïc? This one is satin, lacquered, then devoured, a special process so that the CC letters seem to float on the fabric. The comfort is obtained with a quilted effect. J'aime bien ce qu'on j'ouvre un peu le, en mettant les mains dans mes poches à des voiles euh, Chanel. Lulu Tani in a gala pajamas with black and gold chevrons that are seen on bags and shoes in the collection. My idea of Miller and Drive after hours. The lovely and bold and stubborn and charming Vivienne Rohner is closing the show and it's her birthday. Joyeux <laughs> anniversaire, Vivienne. Not crazy. <laughs> Vivienne Rohner is the Today Chanel girl. Very Virginie Viard in her attitude. What do you feel? Chic as always. There is never a day that goes by where I do not feel chic. But you know, in this fit, it chic is obviously girl. elevated. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> in glamorous Hollywood, what else do you want more? No. <laughs> <laughs> Virginie Viard takes a surprise bow coming from the crowd. It was absolutely fabulous. You couldn't be any more surprised. There's another surprise in store. <laughs> yeah, you gotta cut that. I mean, I think she's incredible, and I think it's gonna bring, first of all, a woman in the in the lead in the 
the captain's seat is really great. C'était trop beau. C'était magnifique. J'ai adoré. J'ai adoré. J'ai trouvé ça hyper frais. Il y avait des, des, des guêtres en laine sur les chaussures brillantes. Je pense que ça, c'est vraiment une nouvelle obsession. I was like, Josie, look at that. Uh, we were like, look, look, look. Our favorite piece was the little bus, the bag, like a bus. It was like a track. We knew the air like a track. And then there was the light up heels. And afterwards, there was a Chanel roller skate party where, after signing a legal document, we could skate and shine. Julien and I lost all sense of dignity and boom, Angel fell. Boom, Lolibaya fell. Voilà, this was my Chanel cruise report. Leave a comment if you got till the end. You can write Chanelissimo. I'll recognize you. Subscribe to my channel and watch all my other videos about fashion, passion, action. Mood board. It's hot and I'm upset, as you can see.